and also works for the Big 550 KTS. Good morning this morning. McGraw, how are you? I'm great. Thank you for joining us. It's great to be here. How did the Blues give up 11 shots on goal to two shots on goal in the first period last night? Well, that's not good, right? What's going on there? I mean, even you know that. You want to have more shots than the opposition. I'm pretty confident that uh, that was bad. Or at least, you know, find a way to get some scoring chances. That was not a uh, good performance by the Blues on home ice. They had a six-game homestand when you include the Winter Classic, and they go three and three. Now they head on the road. Yeah where they haven't uh, been great thus far this season, but maybe this is what the Blues need. Maybe get away from home ice for a little bit and see if they can flip a switch there. But only 17 shots on goal for the entire game. Fell in a deep 3-0 hole before you could even blink. Uh, and they couldn't climb out of it. All right, tonight, Hockey Sense at Obie Clark's. Yes, David Backus will join us, as well as uh, Clayton Keller, who is from St. Louis and was the leading scorer for Team USA when they won the World Junior Championships earlier this month. So he'll join us. He plays at Boston University. Uh, Bacchus, uh, bittersweet, him back in at least? Uh, Well, bittersweet uh, for him or for... Well, I mean, just sort of of old home week, right? Well, let me just say this. The, The response and the reaction he got from the fan base, I had never seen anything like that at a home game in my 18 years covering the St. Louis Blues. Um, there was as much, uh, I, I hadn't seen this much anticipation or excitement for a returning player since Chris Pronger came here with the Edmonton Oilers back in 05 06. Right. And they didn't have a Jumbotron tribute for Pronger back in 05 06. Ah. There was nothing. And, you know, that bothered him a little bit. I know for a few years after that, they, they, they never did that. You know, so last night, I mean, we're talking probably a two minute uh, video paying tribute to David Backus. His wife was there in a suite. She had been in town since last uh, Saturday, staying at Alex Petrangelo's house, who's now the captain of the Blues. <laughs> um, her, uh, you know, their little daughter's been in town as well. So, listen, uh, that meant a lot to him. It meant a lot to uh, his wife as well. And, and the crowd got into it for David Backus, but that was about all they cheered for all night long. Uh, and he left free agent, right? He, just... he left as a free agent, yeah. He signed a five-year contract worth $6 million per year to play for the Boston Bruins. He also got in a fight last night with Joel Edmondson. Oh, nice. Yeah. So he had 17 minutes in penalties. You didn't see him a whole lot during the course of the game. I think he played just barely over 10 minutes over the course of the game last night. The guy's a goon now. Well, you know, listen, he brought that element to the the Blues when he was here, and he's doing that for the Boston Bruins now. Uh, All right, let me ask this question point blank. Are the Blues trading for a goaltender? Um... I wouldn't rule out anything really? at this point. Now, do I do I think that they're going to? I, I really don't. You know, they, they elected to move on from guys like Ben Bishop and Brian Elliott in right. the past, uh, fully believing that Jake Allen can be the guy. Now, he still has to show, you know, still has to show that he can be, but I believe they're going to give him that opportunity to prove whether or not he can do it. And I'm not saying you you just make that decision after one season, right? But you certainly don't make that decision after 40 games, and that's where we stand right now with Jake Allen. I think he's been pulled three of his last five starts. Obviously, it doesn't take me I mean, to tell anybody. Pulling that's a goalie is a is a. I mean, that's a really bad deal. Well, it's bad. You know, sometimes well, there's different reasons you do it. Sometimes last night was certainly performance based, trying to get the team going as well. But um, you know, the second goal was the backbreaker for me. Uh, even though the third goal obviously kind of put the Blues in a major, major hole. But the second goal, when it bounces off the backboards and then, you know, he kicks it in, I mean, that's a real, real strong break for the Boston Bruins. You'd like to prevent that from happening, but you also want to give your team a chance to win, and, and I'm not so sure that happened last night. Andy Strickland, Fox Sports Midwest, Hockey Sense tonight, 7-9? to 7-8. 8-9, uh, eight. Eight I eight believe. 8-9. to nine. Yeah. If I was a program director, I, I should know that. 8-9, well, yeah. O.B. Clarks, David Backus. As well as all sorts of... Uh, Clayton Keller will join us as well. Jamal Mayers obviously will be Jamal with us. Jamal Mayers. Yeah. All right. We'll have uh, a lot going on tonight on uh, swing Hockey b- Sense. Swing by Obi Clarks. And if yeah. you can't, you can listen to the Big 550 KTRS. Um, you take that text message and uh, we'll talk to you next time. <laughs> now. It's an email. My phone's going crazy, though, this morning. Uh, Andy Strickland, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see you, buddy. All right, good to see you. Nine four, uh, 950, Big 550 KTRS. This is McGraw Live on KPLR 11.2, stltoday.com, and the Big 550 KTRS. Hi, Terry 